All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 17 franchise mode with your Boston Bruins. <clears throat> now, you might be looking at the screen and saying, hey bus, why are we in September 2016? Hey bus, why is there no uh, playoffs here? Hey bus, did we go back in time? Well, hypothetical fan, yes, you are right. The game, if you remember in the last uh, episode there, it just cut out. The whole game froze, reset to uh, the dashboard, lost all my progress, and that'll teach me not to save my game. So, we, we are back. How often does a team get a redo on a whole year? We kind of shit the bed there. We're going to make some better decisions here. And uh, hopefully we, uh, we can pretend that season never happened there. And what I will do is I will try to save more. And I'll definitely save right before the draft because it looks like EA and their infinite wisdom decided that the game should freeze at the draft. So um, <coughs> we're, we're back to square one here. So let's quickly get this preseason stuff done here. Um, off. Okay, man, we are way far back. So, oh boy. I think we even have to do roster moves here. This might not be pretty, but uh, hey, how often do you get a redo on your whole season here? Uh, we are, I think we still want a better backup than, no, we're going to move up Subban is what we did. And we had Kudabin down. There we go. Subban's our backup here. I think that's the best way to do it. Next, defensively, one, two, three, four, five, six, defense. No one that needs to be called up. Although I do like John Michael Lyles being up. But at the same time, last year didn't go well for us, so maybe we stick with this. Let's see here. Low top. Ooh, yeah, you kind of want to send these two down. Let's do that. Bring up John Michael Lyles here. Oh, yes. Bring up John Michael Lyles. JML. Now, is there anyone else in our defense we want to bring up? Bring up Grant or Cross. Okay, Grant or Cross? Let's see. We'll bring up Grant here. Just to have that depth that we need. Just in case. That should give us six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think this year what we're going to do, our defense is sorely lacking. I think that's what killed us last time. So I think we're going to try to improve our defense. One, two, three, four here. Randall, you're going down. We're going to call up... Bleed, yes, I like calling up Bleed. I think he was an 80 by the end of last year, so I think that was a good decision on our part here. Our Shannon Bolesky is, uh, yeah, that's fine. We called up uh, Hargrove for sure. Oh, that's over the limit, so hold on. That's, uh, let's make sure we've got this going right here. And let me know, you know, in the chat or in the comments if I'm doing something wrong here. Let's do that. We'll... Did we keep Shaler last time? I can't remember. We moved these two down, though. Well, at least Nash. Now, did we move more down, though? Dominic Moore? Maybe we didn't. Okay, we're at 18 now. Let's see. I don't believe we had Nash up. Oh, we could if we want, though. Did we have Hickman up? I don't think we had Hickman up. No, we left him down there. Call up Hargrove, though. We have Vetrano up, though. That's going two-way. Uh, center two-way. Grinder. Got some options here. Let's go edit lines now. Real quick. Let's see what we can do. Best lines. What If we're going to make this work, we got to do something here. So Spooner, I think we'll leave there. Pasternak's going to come down. We're going to need a right wing still. I believe we had that problem last year. We'll need a right winger for the second line. Jimmy Hayes, I think we're going to... Playmaker, playmaker. I'd love a sniper, but maybe we do that. Valesky... The second line is so... Not to, not to be overly uh, critical here, but garbage. Uh, we're going to put bleed in here. And then we're going to have... Oh, we have no one else. Okay. And then defensively, we definitely need... I, I think we need a top two. We put Krug down there next to Kevin Miller. 
JML and Grant is fine. Although really that's not pretty either. Oh, this looks re works really well for left and right defensemen. So yeah, if we pick up one more, make Grant our depth, I think we'd be okay. That's Kevin Miller. He's a top six. Yeah, so if I if I could do that, put someone here, move McQuaid down, that would be optimal. And then finally, our goalies were fine there. Yeah, let him be the backup. Malcolm Subban could be our future if we're lucky. And that's just best lines here, real quick. Petrano and Nash. Maybe I call up Nash and move to, ooh. I believe we did that last time. Maybe it was Nash we had up. Let those guys uh, grow down there. So. Dominic Moore is fine. But it's Shaler. Do we want to have, ah, Shaler can come up. He's young. Or he's getting older. He needs that time. Hargrove, I believe, was up. Yeah, so maybe we call up, uh, see, Riley Nash here. Koko Lekachev. Was that Koko Lekachev? Yeah. And what about Vitrano? Two-way... He's probably better down in the AHL for one more year as a depth. I think that's what we do for him. Yes. Okay. We'll do better lines there. All right, um, yeah, we'll we'll work on this here. Griffith with Kokolekachev and Vitrano. I kind of like that. Okay, good. Now let's let's go solve those problems here. So we are tight to the cap, which means we probably want to well check free agents first. Again, we're doing this better. So. This is where I think we go Seidenberg or Russell. Seidenberg's a previous uh, Bruin. However, who would be better? I think we have to improve our defense. And you know what? Best case scenario, maybe we can steal both of them. How do we make that happen? That's a very good question. Hmm. Can we move some contracts here to afford seven probably eight million we might be able to because that would definitely improve our defense john michael lyles would be our depth at that point and uh and then of course we need to pick up a good right winger and of course i do love me uh semen but i think in this case defense has to come first Let's take a look here, see what kind of contracts we can move, shift around. Okay, let's see here. Krejci, you're getting a lot of money for nothing. 7.2 million, geez. Chara is quite a bit. Uh, Bleski we could move. I'm not a big fan of Bleski. I'd love to move McQuaid's contract. 2.7 mil is quite a bit. Maybe that's what we do here. I think. I think first things first, we try to move uh, uh, Bolesky. Because I don't think a grinder worth 4 million. Like, really? Okay, so let's move Bolesky first. Let's see if we can't grab a third from him. And you know what? The Ducks want him. Hey, if the shoehorn fits. You know what? And maybe we can pick up some death here. Because we're, we're going for it this year. There is no... Uh, we're not going for the... the, the uh, not the draft. We're not going for the uh, the lottery here. We're going to win. That is our goal. So let's see. Is there anyone... Ooh, we could pick up Nick Ritchie. Left wing power forward. Low elite. Fourth liner. Ooh. Oh, they don't want to give him up, though. That's one of those things. Okay. We can always pull off a third-round pick from them. Yeah, just to get rid of his contract. Easy. Done. Good. Okay. 
go to edit lines here. And we shall the best line them up here. <clears throat> so what still needs to be done here? Uh, I would move Jimmy Hayes. Not even Jimmy Hayes can play up there. I do want that. So we could move Riley Nash's contract. No, he doesn't have a huge one. That's what she said. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of a, a fan of Bolesky's contract there. So I think we leave Spooner there. We move uh, Pasternak down with him. Now we need a need a we need a scorer is what we need on this team. He's a first line. He's a first line. He's a first line. So that's fine. We will keep it like that. Whose faceoffs are better? Ninety-five for Bergeron. Yeah, you can take faceoffs, no problem. We'll get a sniper. And you know what? Maybe we'll even pick up a left winger there. <clears throat> right winger and left winger is kind of what we need here. I don't mind Hayes, Spooner, and Pasternak. Then we've got to do something down here. And we haven't even started on our defense yet. Okay. Next contract we want to move. Nothing wrong with moving contracts to guys who want them. Uh, McQuaid's contract's not the prettiest. But do I want to hold on to him? Because if I can pick up two defensemen, I don't need McQuaid anymore. Yeah, because I, I guess I could also dump John Michael Lyles' contract. Two mil. It's either John Michael Lyles or McQuaid. So if we're going to do that, <clears throat> let's take a look here. One, two. No, that's not what I want. One, two, three. Yeah, so if we pick up, let's say we pick up both Chris Russell and Seidenberg. They'd be our second line pairing, give or take. So that'd be one, two, three, four with them. And that'd leave us with five, six here. And of course, we can always call up Miller. We can always trade off John Michael Lyles. Yeah, you know what? Let's dump John Michael Lyles' contract here. Who wants to pick him up? Would anyone care to have JML? You should get defensemen. I really know Bruins are screwed, so I would go for D. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we're thinking, uh, Giant. I think that's how you say your name. Hein, Hein, Jain. Anyways, uh, that's what we're doing right now. We've got uh, two guys in free agency available. That might not be bad. And it looks like no one wants John Michael Lyle, so maybe we have to hold on to him here. Or we have to trade him for scrap. Let's see. If I was to give up someone else, I'd rather give up McQuaid or Miller. If I had to. So we're, we're dumping off these... Poor defensive players. Do you want the physicality? Just trying to see defensive awareness. They're about the same. Miller has better. Uh, ooh, but McQuaid has better poise, man. You gotta you always gotta respect that. He's be better physical. They're about the same speed and all that. Okay, so if anything, it might be Kevin Miller we'd want to get rid of. But you know what? Let's just see if we can move Don Michael Lyles here. Who is looking for a, who's a contender that might want a defenseman for depth there? So let's see. Maybe maybe we can put him off onto Chicago here. We'd be lucky to get a fourth. I highly doubt we'll get a fourth for John Michael Lyles. Not at all. You know what? I would take a seventh just to get rid of his uh Get rid of his contract. That's all we want to do. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get rid of John Michael Lyles. We might be stuck with him. Whoever signed him is an idiot. Yeah, they don't want John Michael Lyles. Okay. Who? What do we do? It's a tough one. We need to improve this defense. I know John Michael Lyles is not part of the answer. But we have too many contracts here that are bloating us. 
One, two, three, four. I don't really want to give up Kevin Miller. He's a decent sixth or uh, third pairing. Carl Miller and Joe Morrow are even ready to go if we need them. Does it have their... Yeah, does it, oh yeah, they're both depthy. Ah, it's a tough one to decide. At. You know what? Let's... Let's keep trying. Who might need them just to meet their sal the minimum salary cap? You know what? Edmonton all always needs defensemen. They'll try anything. So I would believe them making this trade. They uh, they are always desperate for defensemen. Okay, so they still don't want to take his contract. Maybe if I can even unload him for half of his contract, if we can take half of it. Uh, ooh, Joyzy needs defensemen. It's funny when people say Bruins suck. It's funny because if it wasn't for two Bruins players scoring two goals for Canada and they'd win, <laughs> win the title, yeah. Ah, I don't know. It all depends on your perspective. I'm out from the West, so I don't really care much about Boston. We picked them to, because, I mean, the last two years they've kind of fallen off. Or maybe not the last two years, but at least last year they fell off. So we're here to, we're here to put them back in the uh, the running. No, no one wants this contract. Oh, I don't blame them. I don't want a two million dollar uh, eighty overall, which is why I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Good, I I had trouble with it too. <laughs> at least I'm not the only one. Uh, no, St. Louis can't take them. Toronto? Toronto would make bad decisions. The Maple sucks. Maple laughs. Vancouver likes to deal with old people too. And then trading away all their youngins. So I wouldn't doubt they'd do this. No, they wouldn't. Okay. Alright, you know what? We'll take some of his salary, I guess. If we can even save a million of it, that's better than nothing. There we go. Perfect. Got rid of them. We only had to take 750. Yeah, I'm a Bruins fan. They fell, missed the playoffs by 1.2 years in a row. Exactly. So that's why we're here. That's why I chose them is to uh, get them back on track here. Because I know they went from being a powerhouse to they, they don't have much time left now. You know, you've got Chara who's about to retire in the next year or two. You're uh, running out of decision or uh, running out of chances here. Okay, so now that we've dumped those contracts... We've got 11 million in space, so we can offer Chris Russell 5 mil for one year. That's 5 mil. We can offer Seidenberg uh, 5. We can offer him 4.4 for one year. 5, that's 9.4. 9 that leaves us with 2 point sum. Almost exactly two, sorry. Okay. So we do need that right winger or left winger, but who should it be? I'm I'm a big fan of, of Alex Semin. He's a good scorer. Gets those points you need. What hand is he? Is he left-handed or right-handed? He's right-handed. Semin is a point scoring machine, but we've picked him up a few times here. Same thing with Tange. I think it's time we, we, we go for someone else. Maybe a Martin Havlat. How has he done in the past? Hit up a Marty Havlat. He had one goal in two games. Hey, that's 50%. That's pretty good. You can see back in the past, he had a 77 point year back in 08. With, uh, I think that was when he was with Minnesota. Does that sound right? Or war with uh, Montreal. Okay, so let's see. Have that's not a bad. Yuri Tolusti, though. He's not bad. His shooting stats aren't the best. He only had four points in 30 games last year. Hmm. Patrick Eliash. How about you? Eight points in 16. Shooting's decent. 1994 is when he was drafted. Jesus, that a long time ago. Yeah, he's 40. Patrick Eliash, give him one last chance. 
Uh, Havlat, though. Slap shot power is an 87. What's his offensive awareness? 84. Versus Eliash. 85. Okay. Kind of see where this is going here. I can pick up Derek Waugh. Or Derek Roy. Uh, offensive awareness is only an 84. Brad Boys, 83. I'm looking for someone with a decent, you know, shooting stat here. Let's... Yeah, Semin's your guy if you want a sniper. Semin's your guy. Boys isn't bad. Brad Boys. Yeah, might not mind Brad Boys. We picked up Semin. Didn't really work for us. Maybe we pick up... Uh, you know what? Let's go Marty Havlat. He only has 1.6. Bet you we can get him for less. Let's give him a 1.2. There we go. Uh, there we go. Yep. Let's see if that'll work. And that should give us a sniper there for our second line. Maybe even our third. If we want to slide him over there. Uh, no, we want to be in the NHL. Go a couple days here. No big deal. These are just preseason. Let them win. Let them lose. We'll do our scouting assignment, though, first. We'll go WHL for three weeks. Got to check those kids in the West. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We haven't done our budgets yet, either. Um, not a fan of promotions. I like having arena options. I don't, you don't really need to advertise in, in Boston. They know the team's there, and as long as you do well, they'll come to games. Uh, we can do promotion nights. I do prefer having the CPU do them. You know what? Let's do that. Let's auto-assign remaining nights. That's fine. Promotion nights are promotion nights, you know? Goals to win. He doesn't think we're going to win. Well, that hurts, Havlat. Seidenberg accepted. Okay, we brought him back. And Russell accepted. There you go. We just flipped this defense around from being shit tier to decent. Okay, let's take a look here. What can we do now with this defense? All right, uh... There, Jain, let me know about these lineups here. Because I'm not a big fan of Krejci and Bergeron on the same line, but we really don't... We need a sniper is almost what we need up there. Okay, we're going to move out Ronaldo. Oh, of course, we haven't moved him up yet. Uh, nice pickups. Yeah, there you go. We've got... Uh, yeah, good call. We've got exactly what we need here. The two best defensemen available. Uh, should help us out quite a bit. Okay, two there. One, two, three, four, five. Grant can be our... Yeah. Grant can be our depth man. That's fine. Yeah. So, let me know what you think about this offensive line. I, I really... We need a sniper. Is how I see it. I'm not a fan of two two-ways on the first line. But, uh... We can get a sniper down here. We do want... Pa Pasternak would be on the third line. With someone else. Hey, actually, you know what? Hayes would probably be down. If we can get a sniper for this line, I think would be good. Okay. So, Zach Ronaldo, you're out. Let's put in... Uh, let's put Seidenberg in over here. Grant, you're out. Let's put... Uh, let's put Chris Russell in over here. Uh, yeah, bring down Krejci. Can't spell. And put Pasternak on the first line. Hmm. Put Pasternak on the... First line. Okay. Hmm. We've got a little problem here. We've got two righties here and then four lefties. Oh, boy. Who deserves first line time with Chara? I think you do this. You get the two-way with the offensive. Move him to the left side so we can get that slapper from the point. Seidenberg along with Chara is fine. Then Kevin Miller and McQuaid are fine here. Let's do it that way. 
Okay, but offensively, if we move Krejci down and... You want Pasternak up, you think? I don't like it. I, I, like, we want him to grow. He's only 20. He's a top six. He has good growth with Bergeron best. Okay. You think he's got it with Bergeron, eh? Ooh, he does. Okay. So maybe we put him out there with Bergeron and Marchand. We can try it. I mean, if it goes wrong, we move him around here. Krejci's 30. Bacchus and Krejci. That might be okay. Then we need a sniper. Actually, how long have I been going here for? 40 minutes almost. Okay. Ooh, we gotta hurry this up here a little bit. Just uh, so we don't spend too long. I don't mind going a little long if we have to. Let's go double check those uh, those free agents there. We definitely need some snipers on both the right and left side. Semen's still available. We have 1.9 mil in cap space. Where can we get us some uh, some deals here? Uh, affordable. Oli Jokinen. Here, maybe if we start from here. Let's see. Jokinen is a two-way. We're looking for snipers. We could pick up Brad Boys. 1.6. Okay. Dana Zubris. Oh, the old man. Mark andre Cliche is still in the game. Jeez. I thought he was way older than that. Cody Hodgson's is available. Corbin Knight. Hmm. Yeah, first like 10 games, keep an eye on Pasternak. Okay. I'll, I'll, we, we can do that. Let's, let's do that. Bobby Butler. Never heard of you. Chuck Kobus Deuce is still, still available. Okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to sign... <sighs> Yeah, definitely affordable. Havlat versus Brad Boys. Let me pick up Boys here. He's cheaper. 1.4 for Boys. And let's go see if there's any goalie depth out there. As long as the game doesn't freeze. There's a high backup who's 24. I'm not really interested. I think we signed Hratchnova last time, so let's do that again. Yeah, we'll do that again, just to have someone down there who can grow. Good, alright. Bust? I've seen Pasternak in NHL 17 be like 89, but I've also seen him bust. Okay. Yeah, you always gotta watch out for that as well. I know someone said to move Pasternak up to the second line before so maybe the first line will do him some good too okay we'll get through the preseason here and then we'll finish up everything after a break Harach Neva. okay so brad boys didn't like that contract let's go let's go give him one more here because we need to win man and you don't win games if you can't put that puck in the net of course we can always check the uh trade block for a sniper nothing wrong with that uh affordable forwards let's see here where's boys okay so he feels like we didn't give him enough fine we'll give you a full 1.5 that's fine Yeah, we'll have to watch uh, Pasternak's growth carefully there. We don't want to stunt him at all. And actually, some of those depth defensemen there, we might want to double. Doesn't think he can win with this team. Okay, so maybe free agency isn't the answer for us. Let's get up here to the start of the season. And then I'm going to take a quick break. And we're going to start the season. We're going to see how we go. We'll give it the first month. If we're sliding right off the bat, we make changes. If we're doing good, you hold the course. All right, I'm going to take a quick break here. 
and then we'll be back uh, in just a minute or two. So thanks a lot for joining me. For those of you on YouTube, take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus underscore driver, and at bus driver on Twitter. All those spelled with an L through US. That's how you spell the bus. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate it when you do. Quick break. We'll be back for some more. So stick around. I'll see you in just a bit. Take care.